guys, grab your coffee, get comfortable, because today we're talking all about trail comfort. We're talking about the Thermarest Z Seat. That's right, we're talking ass pads today. I am. If you guys are new here, welcome to Matty Outdoors. I am Matty. This is your first time checking out my channel. The subscribe button over here, that is for you. If you lend to hiking and backpacking, that is my thing. I talk a lot about that here. I don't know if you can tell by the flag behind me. I'm Canadian. I hike a ton of the Canadian Rockies, so if that interests you at all, like I said, that subscribe button over here, that is for you. But today, we are talking ass pads. So we're just going to jump right into the technical specs of this thing. It's a closed cell foam pad. Uh, folds up kind of accordion style. So uh, when you've got it folded up like this, it is 12 and 3 quarter inches long. It is two and a half inches this way and two inches this way. It weighs 58 grams or two ounces. And then when you open it up, it opens up to 16 inches lengthwise by, as before, 12 and 3 quarter inches widthwise. It is three quarter inches thick. When you originally get these things, there is a little grommet hole on the one side here. Uh, there's like a little shock cord loop that comes to like hold the th whole thing together. Um, for, uh, for my intended purposes, that shock cord loop was a huge annoyance, so I kind of ditched it. But uh, yeah, it, it does come with a little shock cord loop to kind of hold it all together. It is a Thermar SZ seat. One side you got yellow. The other side you got this kind of silver reflective. All right, so we got over the technical specs on this thing. Let's talk about what I really, really enjoy about the Thermarest Z seat. And I guess just like any ass pad in particular, but uh, because we're talking about the Z seat, it's gonna pertain to the Thermarest Z seat. So uh, obviously keeping my ass warm. I don't know about you, personally, I absolutely hate sitting down on like a cold, wet log. Uh, I just, I always keep this strap on the outside of my pack. I will just, you know, pull it off. Stick it down under my butt, gives me something cushioned, something a little insulated to sit on. Awesome. Uh, same goes for kneeling on the ground. I mean, I'll put this down on the ground, kneel down on it, you know, helps my knees, helps me not get, you know, like wet pants, stuff like that. What I will also be using this for is inside my top quilt. Um, this is going to go in to keep my heels and my calves insulated. Uh, the reason for that is, is because I've gone to a partial underquilt now, so my underquilt ends at my calves. So this is going to slide into my top quilt and my heels and calves are going to rest on top of this and that's what's going to keep, yeah, my heels and calves insulated on the underside. And we're going to end this with probably one of the most understated uses of one of these sit pads, which is fanning a fire. Uh, if you're ever having a difficult time getting a fire going and you're just you're working with wet wood and you've got a decent bed of coals but you just can't get the flames to catch and you're constantly blowing on it, if you've got one of these things, it makes a world of difference. You just you get her whipping up and down, you get that air flowing through. Uh, yeah, just a uh, you know, little bit of a tip there. If you've never done it before, you're definitely going to do it now. It's going to help you out. But uh, yeah. If that helps you guys out at all, if you got any questions at all pertaining to the Z seat, you got any questions for me at all, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to help you guys out. As always, I am Maddie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.